we sell is the product of the peace agreement which incorporate almost all human rights enshrined in the international human rights law. The immediate enforceability of the economic, social and cultural right in the constitution can be marked as the major achievement which, we, which was a key agenda of the conflict. The above mentioned constitutional promises were only possible because of the people's movement and people's war. Secondly, we successfully integrated the former combatants to the Nepal army and in the Nepalese society. However, we are yet to address the past human rights violation. In this regard, I would like to reaffirm the government of Nepal's commitment to establish a credible transitional justice process in order to seek the truth, provide reparation to the victims and bring perpetrators of serious human rights violation to the justice so that we move toward establishing reconciliation in the society. In this endeavor, we will be guided by the comprehensive peace agreement and the directives of the Supreme Court of Nepal and relevant international commitment as well as the concern of the victims. For this purpose, after conducting nationwide consultation with the relevant stakeholders, including the victims, amendment of the Enforced Disappearance and the Truth and the Reconciliation Commission Act 2014 was tabled in the Parliament in July 2022. Because of the expiry of the tenure of the parliament, the bill could not be passed. After the commencement of the new parliament, the bill has been registered with some reform and now is under consideration in the parliamentary committee. We hope that the committee will resolve some of the issues that have been raised by some stakeholder. This amendment opens a space for the development of a comprehensive and coherent transitional justice strategy that will allow Nepal to achieve both the greatest possible satisfaction of the rights of the victims and the transition to the stable and lasting peace. To this end, we need a strong support from all works of society, including victims, civil society, political party, and international community, community as well. I believe that the proposed reduction in sentencing will allow the perpetrators to come forward and tell the truth so that we could document it and archive so as to ensure the non-recurrence of this incident in future. 